All right, fall time, we're gonna be crankbait fishing. You want a crankbait that's gonna be hitting bottom. You want a good rod that you can use. I'm using the new Veracity by Abu. You want a good bait caster. I've got the Abu Garcia SX here. What we're doing is we're firing these crankbaits out. You can fire that bait out a long ways with that SX. I'm gonna start hitting bottom. That's the most important thing when we're fall crankbait fishing up here for smallies is I like to maintain bottom contact. Kind of give it a pump. Bottom contact, that's key. Hit the bottom, pop it. Ooh, just had one hit it. There he is. Hooked up. Keep cranking, man, it's so effective. Here he comes for catching big smallies. I mean, they don't fight so hard in the fall, but when you use that pump pause retrieve, you can clearly see it works really, really good for the big old... Got a couple rods here, I gotta get out of the way. Uh, here we go. There you go, there he is. Deep cranking here in the fall. You want a good rod, a good reel. You can cast a long ways. I'm using 12 pound test, 100% trilene fluorocarbon when I crankbait fish. And that's a cookie cutter smallmouth bass. We've been catching fish after fish, cast after cast, just like that. All right. On the old crankbait. Oh, coming up. Like Eric said, man, you gotta just dig that bottom contact. So I wasn't touching about as soon as I hit bottom. Not a big fish. A couple pumps. Stir that bottom up a little. And this is what you get for fall. All right, buddy. Deep cranking in the fall. Ooh, you start making that body contact. That's what it's all about. You got to make that extra long cap. So you start hitting bottom right when you get in that zone. Right there, I just touched the bottom. Just kind of bump it over. There he is, just like that. Just like that. Keep cranking in the fall, man. Not a big fish, but good action, good action. Gotta love action. Oh, little guy. Get him off of here. Good Captain Crunch special. Much best. Keep cranking in the fall. Let's get some more of those. Way back here. Get that cranked out. First part of your retrieve is just to get it down. Get it down to that structure. Start banging. Okay, I'm feeling it. Get him in there. There is the swing. Another little 
little bass there. We just keep on coming in. Good job, Scotty! Oh, came back for it. Nice. Another deep crank smallmouth. How's it feel? Alright. Go fast swing. Yeah. Can we swing a bit? Alright. Hey, buddy. Barely hooked. Got to maintain, you know, when I first started fishing crankbaits, trying to figure out how to get them cast after cast, one of the most important things is maintaining bottom contact, whether you're ripping through weeds, rock, or wood. I like to hit I like to hit the bottom. There's the bottom. There's a pause. Bottom. Pause. One of the first things I started doing when I started fishing a crankbait, the hardest part was I wasn't making bottom contact enough. So when you're fishing the weed edges, the rock or the wood, almost every cast I like to make sure I have a crankbait that's going to be touching the weeds, the rock or the woods. There he is. Nice fish. You met on that one, buddy? Yeah, it is. Rods all over the place in this boat, Scotty. Look at this nice big old fat smolly. Yes, sir. That's why we come up here to Michigan for big old smallmouth bass and crankbaits like this. Hey, thanks for watching this week's video. For more fishing videos, more fishing tips, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page because it's all about the fish.